Let's go down to Mandarin, where Apopka made the trip up from just outside Orlando to take on the Mustangs. Four and one blue darters make the trip. Mustangs at home in the green. Popka runs a single wing. Mandarin's defense had issues. Double handoff ends up with Cornelius Williams, and you can tell he's a fast man as he steps out of one tackle and into the end zone. They went for two and made it, made it eight nothing blue darters. The Mustangs would answer. Kyle Smith throws it to Kazmir Absolu. Great catch by the junior receiver to make it 8-6. More from the single wing in the next possession. Williams again around the outside for the Popka. The Blue Darters have it in for another TD, 14-6. And Kyle Smith led the offense downfield late in the first half and caps off the drive. Look at him moving, shaking, inside, outside. 14-12 after that. But Apopka then rail, railed off 41 unanswered. 55-12, the Blue Darters over the Mustangs tonight at home. All right, off to Reigns. Two giant schools. Look, the graveyard sign's back up. Very nice. Nicely done. Repaired and reinstalled. Playing against Sandalwood tonight. Last week, we were at Reigns. A couple of two-by-fours helped it, and they didn't need that on the first touchdown. Brandon Marshall in for the TD. He turned his ankle. Thankfully, he was okay. Next Vikings drive, Raynell Killian is in at running back. Same result, absorbs contact. He's in. Reigns led 41-7 in the third. Quarterback Ivory Durham does throw a pretty ball, doesn't it? Right over the middle on to George Webb, all alone on the post route. Reigns improves to 5-1. and one. They win big over Sandalwood. 55-20 to 20 was the final. You know, it's interesting because... Remember when Lee beat Reigns and Reigns had 250-some yards of penalties? And then you figure, okay, well, Lee is a really good football team, and the reigns rebalt game might not be very close. Huh. Lee at Rebalt tonight. Let's take a look at what happened there. Rebalt at home in the all-black against Lee in the white tops and the blue bottoms. Second quarter, Jamal Marsh rolls to his right, hits Rio Nelson, who picks up some yards after the catch. First down, Trojan. Later in the drive, Marsh with all day to throw, and this is the important part because he finds Devin Norman in the back of the end zone, seven nothing. Trojans on top early. Lee comes right back. Derek Jones also has all day in the pop pocket. Juriel Caldwell with a first down for the Generals, absorbs the hit in the secondary, and from there, Allen Thunderbase Jr. runs in for the short TD. Important, the extra point was no good because this game ended 7-6 in a giant defensive battle as Revolt beats Lee. Mm -hmm. Parker in the black pants, playing at Jackson in that home red and gray. Jackson receives the opening kickoff. Ball gets past Artis Maddox. Finally picks it up with his three. All right, so he figure a few yards here. He cuts back upfield to the left. Oh, wait a minute. Jose Candelero strips it at the 15. Landon Sigler scoops it up. The Braves all of a sudden have the ball at the 19. Braves going for it in the go-ahead score. Andrew Townsend around right end. Down the sideline, he's stripped. Jackson recovers, scoreless after one. Second quarter, Braves get on the board. Cameron Sapp from the Jackson 28 rolls left and finds Matthew Rivera on the crossing route. Makes a tackle, missed at the 20. Into the end zone, 7-0 Parker. Parker goes on to a 39 to 14 victory. All right, Nice traveling over to the west side tonight to take on Ed White. Nice in the gold, White in the all green. First quarter, Nice up 7 0, facing fourth and 17. Preston Staples finds Ashton Wood down the seam behind the linebackers. Takes a shot at the goal line, but holds on for the touchdown. 14 0. Ensuing kickoff, Isaiah Flowers takes it at his own five, steps out of the tackle at the 25, and just keeps motoring. He's a fast man. 95 yards for the score. Commanders cut the lead 14-7 after a quarter. Second quarter, Nice third and eight at the 30. Staples again looks, steps up in the pocket, finds Wood over the middle for a TD. Nice up 21-7. They go on to win 42-14 to is the final. Well, we had a lot of great games tonight. How about that Ridgeview Middleburg game, which uh, obviously involves a couple of schools that are not very far from each other. A lot of these guys know each other, play sports against each other all year long. I'll show you what happened there. 
But boy, if you're at Ed White, and you know, I've been Ed White a dozen times for football games, and I'm telling you, they do have great food. They had a lot of pride in what they're cooking over there, I can tell you that. Hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill, perfect Friday night for football. Friday on 4, we'll have more of that right after the break. Ha, 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 ha.